We are here at Sony Creative Space here in New York, our hometown, a few blocks from Adorama because of a massive announcement. You know what it is, the A9 III is upon us. This is their fast camera, right? Their speed camera, but it just got even crazier. 24.6 full frame sensor, but full frame global shutter is the real headliner here. What does that mean? Well, instead of electronic shutter where you have a rolling so array of pixels that turn on and off down the sensor. Now the sensor is on and off in one shot, ironically, right? Well, what that's going to do is eliminate all electronic shutter distortion when you have fast moving subjects. But one of the things I find exciting is flash sync is an issue anymore. Remember where you have to go into high speed sync after you hit a maximum shutter speed on your camera? Kind of not an issue here when the shutter is on and off in one instant instead of rolling. So a lot of things to unpack here. It's still early, we're still figuring it out. We're looking at 120 frames per second blackout free shooting. This is massive. Sports shooters, you got speed and you've got no distortion. Plus, you're talking about being able to pre-capture in RAW before you take the shot. So there's a lot of things going on here as far as stills, but as far as video goes, you're looking at 4K 60 oversample from 6K. You've also got uncropped 4K 120 in this, 10-bit 422 internal, external 16-bit raw into a recorder. I'm trying to catch up with this camera because there's so much going on here. You've got the same type of flip out screen on the A7R5 where you have the tilt and swivel, but also the full on tilt from the back of the camera, which is really nice to see. And you've got some other things happening, like a different feeling grip. They definitely changed it a little bit. It's got a little more room in there. You've got a custom button inside there in the grip. And I know there's also some question about what's going on with the shutter, not just global, but mechanical. Well, there is no mechanical. That's right, why have it when you got the global shutter? And I know there's another question. Well, does the sensor cover when we take up the lens? Yes, there actually is a sensor shield in there. It's like a dummy sensor like we've seen in other systems here on the A9 III. So it's a very well thought out system, a lot of things going on here. This is pre-production firmware and this is a pre-production unit and I've just had it in my, in my hand for like three minutes. So we're gonna see what we can unpack as we go forward here with the Sony A9 III. It seems like the base ISO is 250, so keep that in mind if that's something that you're concerned about. And it's also a very responsive camera. You got that famous Sony autofocus that we're using here on this balance beam with a really talented gymnast. Now they're also saying there's also a battery grip for this, which does act differently. So when you put the battery grip on here, it's still two batteries in there, but they're gonna drain in parallel instead of one draining the other. They're claiming you get 15% more battery life out of that with the grip. So if you're a pro sports shooter, I know you're gonna go for the grip anyway, but just know that that's gonna act a little differently. All right, I'm gonna interrupt my past self because I didn't know we were gonna be here. They threw us in a bus and got us over to the world famous Chelsea Piers here in New York, a sports complex with some curated sports for us to shoot. Martial arts, ping pong, got some volleyball in the far back and I'm not the biggest sports shooter, but it was really fun using this camera, I will say that. And now that I have it in hand, I can say, Having shot it for a little longer, this is easily the most comfortable in-hand Sony I've probably had as far as ergonomics go. They definitely tweaked it a little bit and it does feel better to me, especially with bigger hands. But it's familiar enough that I know it's a Sony in my hand. So if you're into the way they've been feeling or if you've been wanting a change, I think either way you're gonna be happy here. I will say now that I was shooting JPEG plus RAW, I was getting a chance to see what the buffer is like. And you're gonna run out of that buffer a little bit if you're hammering down on 120 frames per second. You're gonna see how fast that kind of goes. 120 frames every second is a lot of data and a lot to fill up a card, but it also the buffer empties pretty quickly. So you're able to get right back into it once that happens. Not a big deal. And you're using those Sony CF Express Type A cards, which are super fast as well. Now, we were shooting Strobe over here at the boxing ring with, with Brian the Martial Artist and Cliff Hausner, the legend, was here. Uh, and we had to actually kind of relearn Flash a little bit here. Instead of going to high speed sync, the global shutter let me get up to 12,800th of a second to cancel out all the light in the space, darken it all down so that I'm only seeing the Strobe without going to high speed sync. This is a big deal, this is a whole new change. However, you have to go into the menu in the A9 III and delay the flash to basically be in sync with your camera in some way, right? So the camera's working so fast, we have to delay this flash. I think here we delayed it by 400 milliseconds, but it's definitely something you gotta keep in mind and something you're not used to working with until you get into a global shutter. So keep that in mind. If you're someone's gonna be using strobe, you might wanna look at that. 
keeping up with the theme of speed here, we're looking at 80 thousandth of a second maximum shutter speed here. Yeah, 80 thousandth, that's in single shot mode. The 120 frames per second isn't gonna get there as far as I can tell with what's in my hand right here, but still 80 thousandth of a second will freeze anything, I think. And it's probably the fastest shutter speed you've probably heard of, but that's what the whole theme of the A93 is, is speed, speed, speed. And I think that everything that you're trying to get out of this for action and wildlife, you're gonna see it here. It really seems like Sony kind of built this camera to be ready for anything that's quick, right? But let's say you're not quick enough. Well, the camera is. So you get half a second to a full second of pre-capture, and that is raw. From what I'm seeing in the settings, I don't want to say that's for sure, but from what I'm seeing in the settings, it seems like it's raw, which is great. And don't forget, 120 frames per second after that, right? So you're going to get it. I know it's some of you thinking like, yeah, that's great, all this speed and all those frames, but I got to go through all those frames after the fact. Sony's got you covered. They're actually doing a really cool function where you shoot 120 frames, let's say, you go to look back at them, they give you a video file that's being played and then you freeze it where you want and that's the still that you're gonna get. So instead of calling like this, you're watching it, freezing it, going to it. Very smart, I'm really into it. I know it's a concern for a lot of sports shooters, especially if you shoot indoors, like high school sports, whatever, and you don't know what the lighting in that ceiling is gonna be for your ambient, and a lot of times you deal with flicker, right? Well, it seems like they've got some really good anti-flicker going on inside the A93, where it can actually sense the frequency and shoot at the opportune times where the most of the, of the frame is filled with that ambient light. So instead of getting like half shots or that weird banding issue, it seems like they got it mitigated here in the A93. Overall, I gotta say, this is a pretty impressive camera. And of course, it's the new technology that I think they've all been chasing, and now it's finally here. So if you guys have any questions for me about using the A93, hit me with a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer with my limited use here. Um, obviously, I only know so much. It's still early, but we did get a chance to shoot it, so there's that. If you guys want, hit like, share this video around, hit subscribe and the bell to get notified when more videos like this come out. And we'll see you next time, later.